folks and welcome back to my channel right now in Mangalore to be very precise I am right now in Udupi guys and I am standing in front of one of the most popular restaurants here it's called Pimapa Fish Hotel guys as you guys know Fishland in Mysore which serves Mangalore cuisine is one of my favorite or oh, my favorite restaurant in Mysore so I am super pumped to try out Timapa here at Nudipi because they have the real deal here guys. So I'm going to be trying out some crabs, some squid, some anjal, I don't know. I'm going to be trying out everything guys. I'm super pumped to check this place out guys. So I'm standing right behind it. My friends are actually waiting for a table. We are here at around 1 o'clock. I knew there's going to be a rush because I, led a, I read a bunch of reviews and I kind of figured there's going to be a rush. But hopefully in the 10 or 20 minutes we should be able to get a table. I'll head in and show you all what it looks like guys. Super pumped for this one. Let's go. <laughs> This is the restaurant. I'm right now walking into it. You can see how crowded it is. Hopefully, we can get some place to sit. According to what I know, my friends have already got a table. I'm trying to find out where that is and locate it. Yep, that's the table, guys. Oh, this is how you sit here, huh? Oh, wow. That's my friend Shreyas, guys. Usagan. So guys, I'm sitting inside right now. I've got some brown rice. They've served some sambar as well as some fish curry on both the sides. Guys, it's pretty congested. That's why I'm not able to get the right angle for the video. Anyways, like I said, there's some brown rice, some fish curry, some sambar. We've also got some squid roast on the side, guys. Not squid roast, squid sukka. So I'm expecting a lot of grated chocolates and some chilies, maybe some onions in order to be in it. And also some prawns gyros, guys. Prawns gyros, the very good chilies. All of us love that. And also some turkish tawa fry. There's also a vegetable curry and a pickle they serve with it. So first up, I'm going to take a piece of the squid sukka and go by itself, guys. Nothing else. I'm just going to try it by itself. Just correcting my mic, sir. There we go, guys. I'm just correcting my advice, sir. Cheers, guys. Mm. It's spicy. I mean, there's a lot of grated coconuts in it. The first hit that gets you is the coconut, the grated coconuts, and also definitely the spice. I think definitely from red chilies as well as some pepper as well, but. The squid is a little chewy and could have been cooked better. Next up, I'm going to be trying their prawns. The prawns look divine, guys. A lot of that berge chili paste coated on it. I just really hope the prawns is cooked really well. So anyways, uh, we'll go for a piece of that, guys, and see how that turns out. There we go. Cheers, guys. Mm. I really like the prawns gyros, guys. The prawns is cooked really well. It's soft, not rubbery or chewy. You got that spiciness coming in from the chilies. At the same time, a little bit, a little bit, not as much as the gyros I've had, usually have a very prominent subtle sweet note, it does not have such a prominent subtle sweet note, but still, pretty good, not bad at all. Next up, I'm going to be trying their anjal fish, it's a tawa fry guys, so let's go for a piece of it, it looks beautiful, doesn't look like it's over fried, it looks juicy, succulent, a lot of chilli on the masalas, anyways, cheers guys, it's soft, it's juicy, it's succulent. A little bit of chili is coming in. I'm sure it's fried in coconut oil. Get that aroma. Get that, you know, that Kamamaldu. I love my coconuts, guys. It's amazing. Oh, I'm sweating all a lot. This fans here, but it's super hot here right now. But the Anjal is amazing, guys. Also, we did get the Rava fry as well. This is the Matti, or the sardines. We'll go for the head. Head is always my favorite. Mm. Mm. I love Matti head or sardine heads. Sardine is one of my favorite sea fishes and the head just absolutely divine guys. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Now I'm going to go for a bite of the anjal. Getting in, mixing it with the rice, some fish curry and sambar they poured over it. Mixing all that together and then going for a bite of all of this guys. Cheers guys. Mm. Absolutely love the Anjal fry and definitely the sardines, rava fry. Not the squid so much. Prawns was amazing. You want another one, Mr. Rava fry? Rava fry? No, 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 Mm. It's a Mangalore Puli Muji. Get that sourness from the tamarind. 
a little bit of spice, but mostly the prominent sourness. It's definitely watered down because it's a free gravy with the rice. I just finished my lunch from Timapa Hotel, guys. So it's super hot. You probably can see me sweating. It's super hot. It's super crowded place now. To give a total view about the food here, guys, is it really worth visiting? Definitely good food, guys. But I wouldn't say the food is exceptional because I've had better in Mysore from Fujari Fishland. The gyros was nice, but I've had better gyros. And also the Anjal fish fry was brilliant because of how fresh the fish was, guys. It was succulent, it was juicy. I loved their rava fry, guys. The sardine rava fry, the mati rava fry. The fish curry gravy that they gave with the meals could have been better. The vegetable curry, not a big fan of it. The pickle was really nice. Majige huli was basically water, guys. There was not much uh, buttermilk in it. So that's that. And the squid was a little chewy, but the Anjal fish fry, just brilliant. The rava fry guys, the matti rava fry or the sardine rava fry, so I'm guessing that the rava fries must be good. The prawns ghee roast also was brilliant. And plus you get two kinds of rices here. You get your red rice or you might call it as a brown rice, but it's actually red rice guys. You get the red rice as well as the white rice here guys. And it's pretty crowded, there's a hype around it. So this is my personal opinion. I'm sure a lot of people love the food here at Timur Pass. I too love the food here, but uh, I always tell this, whenever I visit a place expecting a hype, I'm a little bit disappointed because I'm already going there with a huge expectation. So there's a very little room for mistake there. So that's probably why I'm a little disappointed, but extremely happy because I've had better food in my sir. But definitely worth a visit if you're coming to Mangalore, guys. I don't know if this video will continue and show you a few clippings from Gokarna as well. If it doesn't, this is where I would sign off and next video is where you would see what's happening in Gokarna. So guys, I've always wanted to try this ice cream. It's called Ideal. It's only available in Mangalore district as far as I know. I've not seen it anywhere else. I've finally gotten it here, guys. So this flavor called Manmo, guys. It's just Manmo. It's a mixture of orange, strawberry and pistachio, I think. Pretty good. Decent stuff. I've heard that Corner House uses the ice creams from some people and all, but I'm pretty sure they don't because uh, Corner House is on, a, on another league totally. But this is good too, guys. It's pretty nice stuff, ideal ice creams. I got the Manmo, my friends got the Butterscotch Corn. Amazing stuff. Now I think we're about three hours, about three hours away from Gokarna. So hopefully I would add some visuals of Gokarna in this video and then I would just cut short the video, guys. We like to keep it short and crisp. So let's see in Gokarna. What's up guys, so right now I'm about two and a half hours away from Gokarna guys and there's this section about 100 meters where you can see uh, the seawater or the beach on one side and you can see a freshwater body on the opposite side. I will show it to you all in the video. It's not a huge patch, just about 100 or 200 meters where you can actually drive in between a freshwater and a seawater body. Pretty cool stuff guys, the tides here are massive, they're huge. A lot of tide blockers put in, it's just a beautiful vibe here guys. It's super hot though, like I'm sweating all the time, it's super humid as well guys, but I mean the beach, the waves, the scenery, I think all of this makes up for it man, it's such a beautiful trip, it's been a fantastic trip so far. And I can't wait to get to Gokarna at this point guys, so I'll see y'all once we are at Gokarna. I'm back again, we are not at Gokarna yet guys, but I made a small detour, probably a kilometer or two to come to the Murdeshwar temple, here you can see this massive Shiva statue. I've always wanted to visit this place and since it was on the way and just a kilometer of a detour I came here, it's massive, it, I think I can't explain it because uh, although you'll see the footage of it, you really have to come and experience it. The temple is also looking really beautiful, it's really serene. We have this walkway that I'm walking through right now, you can see it's full covered with trees and right on this side is the beach and that's beautiful guys. So I'll show you all some footage of the places around. Great vibes here guys, probably another two hours and I will be in Gokarna. Until I see y'all again, love and peace.